Frank McGinley. I was born on May the 1st, 1943, during the war in Johnson City, Tennessee. Frank McGinley was the oldest of three born to Caldona and Frank McGinley Sr. When his father was drafted into the Army, Frank and his mother moved back to the family home place in Savannah when he was just three months old. After the war, Frank's father worked in construction engineering, but he always had an interest to farm, and that's where Frank's love in agriculture began. Well, before this house was built down here, there was a great big barn there, and that barn was great fun. And two chicken houses, hog pen, milk cows. I mean, I was, I was in a farm in the middle of town, you might say. Frank attended elementary school in Savannah and graduated from Central High School in 1961. And when it was time to decide what was next, a very special lady had quite the influence, the former Judy Ann Falls. She was a year ahead of me in school out here. And I remember playing tennis with her one time and I thought I was pretty good. And she absolutely worked me over. Then when we started dating, I remember playing again, and I didn't have any trouble beating her the next time. <laughs> I think I was, I was being used a little bit maybe, but we, uh, we started uh, going together in high school, and then she went to Knoxville first and talked me into coming up there. Frank and Judy married on September the 8th, 1963. He transferred and graduated from Memphis State University in 1967 with a degree in chemistry. He was quickly hired by the Tennessee River Pulp and Paper Company, later known as Packaging Corporation of America, and worked there for close to 20 years in various roles. I started out as a chemist and uh, I ended up uh, in charge of the uh, environmental affairs not just up there, but also at several other installations. Frank and Judy started their family and had three children. Tragically, their eldest, Melissa, passed away at age 13 with a brain tumor. Frank continued working at the mill, but before long, he decided to go back to farm full time with his father. My dad decided he was gonna retire, and uh, I decided I was gonna uh, run the farm and do all the things he should have done and didn't do. And it took me about a year or so to realize, you know, the old man, he knew a lot more than I thought he did. <laughs> the family had a cow-calf operation and later the focus shifted to corn, cotton, soybeans, wheat, and timber production. And aside from the farm, raising their children and attending church were important parts of the McGinley's life both at the Methodist and Presbyterian churches in Savannah. And then when our children came along, she and I both decided that I was already a member of, of the Methodist church. I'd been, I'd been a member since 1957, that our children could be with other children there. And so we both stayed with the church until the children were gone. Presbyterian Church was having some problems and Judy decided she wanted to go back to the church she had grown up in and she helped them get back on their feet you might say. Sadly Mrs. McGinley passed away unexpectedly two short years ago but during their time together they both found it important to be active in their community and beyond and along the way Frank found his way into Farm Bureau. It gives us a voice in the Farm Bureau, which represents all the farmers in Tennessee. There were a, a number of men that were on the board that I greatly admired. Good farmers, good people, and a good friend of mine was president at the time, and I asked him if there's any way I can get on the board. He said, you're already on it, I just put you on it. <laughs> and I've been on it ever since. Mr. McGinley has served on the Hardin County Board of Directors for more than 30 years, and he's been a strong advocate for developing stronger farm policy. But he's also served on various boards and committees through the years, the Tennessee Water Quality and Control Board, 
the Governor's Forestry Management Advisory Panel, Rotary, and many others, but it's because of his humility, leadership, and dedication to agriculture and Farm Bureau that today Frank McGinley is being recognized with Farm Bureau's highest honor, the Distinguished Service Award. I think it's a great honor, and I think uh, I want to thank the people that are responsible for it because uh, it, uh, it means a lot to me, I'll put it that way. Mr. McGinley, it's because of leaders like yourself that make this organization what it is. <laughs> Don't hide. <laughs> and uh, we appreciate everything you've done for the Tennessee Farm Bureau and the way you've led Hardin County. And I just want to recognize you here tonight. Thank you. And I want to thank anybody that had any part in this. Uh, I am very, very proud of this. And uh, I will cherish this award from now on, and uh, almost made it uh, look a little better than it was. I got out of that chair and my foot had gone to sleep and I almost fell down. <laughs> so I need to be a little more careful in the future. Again, thank you so much.